What's going on everybody? It's Chris from the Bass Channel and I just wanted to take a minute to share some pretty exciting news with you. Uh, it's exciting news for me, I find it exciting, so hopefully you will as well. Do you remember the song that we used in the first episode of Five Bass Players One Song? a bit of good feedback on that song when that episode first came out and now I'm pleased to announce that the album is done and I was fortunate enough to be able to play bass on every song. So throughout the video I'm just going to give you a preview of a couple of my favorite tracks from the album and if you like what you hear it would mean a lot to me if you followed the link down below to Kickstarter and pre-ordered the album. You can get it as a digital download, as a digital download plus vinyl, or a digital download plus vinyl plus cassette. I was really honored to get the invite to play on all 10 songs, and uh, I have to make a confession to you, this is not only my first full-length feature uh, playing bass, but I only started playing bass because of the bass channel. Drums are my first language, uh, then I moved on to guitar, and now I'm surrounded by basses. I have more basses than anything else. So it's still my newest instrument. I'm about four years in. Uh, I've been playing bass as long as the bass channel has been around. So I was really excited to be able to get the call to do this. As you're probably aware at this point, I am quite a massive Metallica fan, and uh, I discovered Clint and Ethan's podcast, Metal Up Your Podcast, about three years ago. I quickly became a fan, I quickly became a Patreon supporter, and Lunar Satan was actually something that was born on that show. Uh, I remember listening in real time as it happened. It was on the Garage Inc. episode, and they were kind of joking about the lyrics to the Merciful Fate medley, which, by the way, we did that video uh, as our collaborative Halloween cover. Um, but yeah, through making fun of those lyrics, uh, Lunar Satan was born. At one point, I reached out to Clint to see if he would let us use one of the Lunar Satan songs, Set the Witch on Fire, again in our In the Mix demos that we were doing at the time. Fast forward a little bit, uh, I got the invite to play bass on the newest song at the time. That led to the second invite, and the third, and then the fourth to redo the songs that had already been done. And before you know it, all ten songs are complete, and here we are now with it being released on vinyl very soon. So let's jump into a couple of these tracks. Again, like I mentioned, these are some of my favorites. Uh, the first one is called Blood Unto Blood. It's a drop C tune. I uh, use the Warwick Corvette that we used in the And Bass for All video, or the And Justice for All with bass. Um, so let's check this out again. This is probably my favorite track on the record. Uh, I hope you dig it. <laughs> same bass and the same tuning. This is another jam that I really like called Evoco Serpentum. It's Latin for Wake the Snake. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, it's a really cool song. It's got a really cool riff. I uh, hope you enjoy. to the album's ballad, Come Dark Sun. This was probably the most 
difficult for me to figure out what to do because um, it's more of a slower acoustic ballad and I don't often listen to that kind of stuff in my spare time. Uh, like I've mentioned before, I'm really good at heavy. I'm really good at fast. Uh, this is not heavy and it's not fast. So at the end of the day, I'm proud of what I did. I'm happy with what I did. Um, like I said, it probably took me the longest to figure out, but it's one of my favorite parts now. There is cold and buried in my frozen heart. Take this blood from my veins. What is mine is yours to take. Fill the earth with only more. Bring the Nike morning star. Bring the Nike morning star. Is this real? Or am I in some dream? Into the fire, we all expire. one for this video is a song called Mirage. Uh, this is another mid-tempo drop D, pretty heavy song. I used the Warwick double buck Corvette that I got from my friend Billy over at Zounds. Huge thank you to Billy at Zounds. I can honestly tell you that I would not have been able to get all the tones that I did without his generous support. So again, I'm very grateful to Billy over at Zounds. Uh, all of these songs, by the way, uh, it's various basses. It's predominantly the Warwick. I did use the Thunderbird on one. But all of them are going through the Dark Glass Microtubes X Ultra. Obviously, every track has a little bit of a different setting to help best suit that song, but the Microtubes X Ultra was used on every track. Most tracks feature the Warwick bass. There was one that featured the Thunderbird. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's move on to the final preview of Mirage. <laughs> enjoyed those previews of those tracks again it would mean a lot to me if you consider clicking the link down below and pre-ordering the album on kickstarter whether you want the physical media or the digital download the digital download comes out december 24th and the physical media if i'm not mistaken ships sometime around late january early february and like i said before i'm extremely grateful to be a part of this project a huge thank you to clint and ethan from metal up your podcast for letting me be a part of the project. And if you do want to hear more of their podcast, you can click right here, subscribe to their YouTube channel, and find them wherever you find podcasts. If you're somehow not subscribed to us and watching this video, you can subscribe to us here. A couple other things down here, all the general YouTube stuff. So that just about does it for now. Again, thank you guys for sticking around with me. Uh, hope you enjoy the album. If you do, pre-order it. And we will see you next week.